My name is Farai Malianga. I am actually an African percussionist that plays various instruments from Africa. Um, but today I have two specific instruments that I want to introduce you to. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk about Africa. Africa is not really a country, it's a continent. And being a continent, it has over 50 different countries in it. And in those 50 different countries, it has many, many different cultures. So these drums really only represent at most 10% of the entire population of Africa in terms of the type of instruments that they play. Today I only have two instruments for you though. So, just to know. This instrument in front of you here and this instrument that I'm sitting on. First, let me just quickly introduce you to this instrument which is called the cajon. The cajon is an instrument that's made out of a box and played a lot in Cuba and also played in Peru, but it actually originates in West Africa and it's called the seco drum and played here with your hands. Okay, so the other drum that I'm going to talk to you a lot about is called the djembe. Now the djembe is spelt D-J-E-M-B-E. -E. This drum is a drum that's played in West Africa. The history of the djembe comes from the Mali Empire, which was a huge empire somewhere between 800 and 1200 AD. That's about halfway between the birth of Christ and where we are today. The djembe is a drum that was played for the king of Mali. And it became a very popular drum because everywhere he went, whether it was in battle or was for celebration, he would use the djembe drum. Why would he use the djembe drum? Well, the djembe drum is a very loud drum. So this drum was used as a form of communication that would be used from mountaintop to mountaintop to tell people about the king was coming. In fact, there's a rhythm that actually talks about the king is coming. It goes like this. And the rhythm is called Ani Sokoma. It means the king is coming. So this drum was a communication device. Um, what are the parts of the djembe drum? Well, the djembe drum is made out of four different parts. The top part is made out of goat skin. Then to hold the goat skin down are these metal rings, one, two, and three. Connecting the metal rings is rope or string. And then the main part and most important part, of course, is the wood. Now, the wood is very important because it represents what uh, a lot of Africans consider is the family tree, which connects the youth, the young people, which are the fruits and the leaves, to the family, which is the branches and the tree, to the ancestors, the people that have passed on, which is the bottom of the tree. So the roots of the tree is a very important part of the African culture and the djembe drum. So um, now you guys have all four different parts of the djembe drum, goat skin, rings, strings, and wood. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the three sounds that come out of the djembe drum. First sound is bass, which is in the middle. Second sound is the tone, which is on the side, and the highest sound is slap, which is done with your fingertips. Bass, tone, slap. Bass, tone, slap. So, as you can see, drums are very complicated, and the djembe has three main sounds that are played on it, but there's a lot of different sounds that you can get out of this drum if you're a professional drummer. So, now you have a basic idea of what the djembe is all about. Maybe we can continue and learn a little bit more. Okay, so I've got my drum, or should I say my bucket, let's have a go at African drumming. So as we would do with a normal djembe drum, we put it between our knees so that the sound can come out of the bottom and I'm going to give it a go. So we're going to use the different types of notes, we've got our bass note, we've got our tone, then we've got our slap. Okay, so bass, tone, slap. So in schools we do an, a nice activity and it's called What's for Dinner Mum? It's call and response because it's used for communication and the words to it go What's for dinner mum? What's for dinner mum? What's for dinner mum? Chicken and chips. What's for dinner mum? What's for dinner mum? 
What's for dinner, mum? Sticky toffee pudding. What's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? Ice cream. And here we go. It's what's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? Chips. What's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner, mum? Ice cream. It's a really easy activity. Uh, have a go. Have a go at making up your own call and response.